I've been seeing all those Teemo ads popping up all the time, especially when I'm watching YouTube. And I'll be honest, I actually thought it was all pretty sus at the start. Didn't actually realize it was a legitimate thing. And then I started seeing that people were using it and that perhaps it was legit. Now, I'm not sure about the quality, but um, yeah, I will say when I saw this electric mason jar vacuum sealer pop up for 35 bucks, it definitely got me interested in actually having a go at trying it out. So let's open up this box together and see if it actually looks any good and let's give it a go. G'day, it's Rachel here from Bush Edge Homesteading Australia. And I've been having a pretty busy day in the kitchen today. We've been doing some sourdough crackers and I've got a bit of lime ginger bug soda bubbling away. Those sourdough crackers, I will say, are well and truly inspired by Kat over at Five Acre Farm who brought some to the Aussie Homesteaders meet a couple of weeks ago. And oh my God, they were so good. So thank you very much for inspiring me to give those a go. I just hope mine are half as good at Kat, as Kat's ones. But uh, yeah, today is not about sourdough crackers or lime ginger bug soda. It's about this little new gizmo that I've just got in the mail this week. And I thought because I do want to package up some of these sourdough crackers that it's probably a good time to open it up. And I thought I would open it up with you to have a bit of a, a look at it. So to date, most of the vacuum sealing that I do is actually with an Audi vacuum sealer where you use the vacuum seal bags. But I kind of like the concept of these mason jar vacuum sealers because it's going to let me use my mason jars. So jars like this. And to be honest, I'm not even sure at the moment if it's going to be a uh, wide mouth top that this will work with or uh, if it's actually going to be a regular mouth top one. So we'll work that one out together today. And um, yeah, I like the idea that I can package up my food in those jars and I'm not going to have waste, in fact. From what I've seen about them, you can even reuse lids. So this is a lid that I've used previously. I'm not going to use that ever again for canning, but I do normally reuse lids for dry goods. I'm hoping this will work quite well with this vacuum sealer. Alrighty, so let's put the jars aside and let's open this up. And I haven't even had a sneak peek at this yet, so we're going to do this together. Alright, let's have a bit of a look inside. I can get the box open. Okay, so that's a good sign. There is a little manual with it. Electric mason jar sealer instruction manual. And it's got some details on how to, well, what all the parts are. And it looks like it's a type C charging port. So that's pretty cool. That looks like it's gonna work with a lot of the charges that I have around the place here. And actually it talks about a wide mouth sealing a silicon ring and also a regular mouth one. So it might actually work with both of these jars here. That's pretty cool if that's the case. All right, let's pop that to the side and keep opening up the box and see what we've got in here. So firstly, we've got this little box at the top. And now this is a surprise. I definitely didn't expect in the box that we'd be getting some canning rings. Now I probably will reserve these just for projects using this vacuum sealer. I won't use those for canning. To be honest, when I'm doing canning, I never want to be getting in a position where I'm risking false seals and there are a lot of dodgy lids out there. I mean, they don't look too bad, but yeah, we'll definitely keep them for using with a vacuum sealer and not for canning. So that's kind of cool. All right. The other thing that is in this little box here is the charger and what do we got a USB on one side and the C on the other side. So it'd be interesting to see which side of this actually goes into the vacuum sealer and which one actually goes into the device for, well, not the device, into your plug for charging. All right, so we'll pop that one aside as well. Get rid of that box. And it's just a bit of material to stop things bouncing around in there. And then we have the actual vacuum sealer itself. Okay, I think at this point, I'm probably gonna need to do a little bit of reading because I 
have no idea how to use one of these. I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube of people using them, but um, yeah, I need to work out one, how to charge it. And I suspect it will take a little bit of time to charge and uh, I'll need a little bit of time to read these instructions as well. So how about I do those two things and then we'll come back and we'll give it a test. All right, so I think I've got it worked out. Now, to start, I do need to peel off this plastic here. That's just over the top for a bit of protection. And that then uncovers here the charging port. So that does mean to charge this, obviously the, the C goes that way and you're gonna need something USB to plug that into. Of course, a lot of our kind of charging devices that go into the wall have kind of a USB input these days. So yeah, that'll work fine for that. Now from here, that's our on button. So we'll just hit on. Oh, okay, it's doing stuff. Let me push that again. 59%, so it looks like it actually comes with a charge in it so that's pretty cool so I've just turned that on 59% and I think that means that we'll actually be able to give this a bit of a test now from here I need to decide which one of these jars I want to use for my crackers today and I think what I'm going to do is actually use the regular mouth now the reason I'm going to do that kind of first is flipping this over I know if you can kind of see in here it says regular mouth mason jar so this fitting here if I pop it over the top, it seems to fit on this one quite well. So let's fill that up and yeah, then we can give it a bit of a go. sourdough crackers all packaged up now what I might do is because I haven't washed any of these lids that came with this unit I'm actually going to use one of my lids that I know is nice and clean this one's from some margarita mix back in July 22 and yeah I think all I need to do is just pop that on the top squish this over the top of all that until it's firmly on and then we'll hit that on button and let it do its thing so what it's doing is it's actually got a bit of a indicator on the top of how many seconds it's actually vacuum sealed for I don't think it actually turns off automatically when it's vacuum sealed so I'm not quite sure how you know when it's actually sucked enough air out to be totally honest so that's um something i'll need to work out if you know if you've got one of these i would absolutely love for you to tell me and uh yeah that's 30 seconds 34 all right i think that's enough so i've just hit the button again and now it's telling me the percentage charge again and yeah that took a few percent and it's turned off now all right moment of truth Pull this off the top and see if that lid's stuck down. And no, it's not. All right. Well, I obviously did that wrong. Let's pull this lid out and try again. Obviously, I haven't read these instructions properly. Maybe let's have another read and do a take two. Alrighty, for this take two, I'm going to go through step by step on the how to use instructions. So let's do this again. So it says, put your food in. Uh, it then says wipe the mouth of the bottle. Obviously, this is nice and dry, so we didn't need to do that. Make sure that the seal is nice and clean, which it is on this one. We put that lid on top. Align the bottle cap with the mouth of the bottle. So 
obviously talking about the jar, so putting the cap on the jar. Align the electric mason jar sealer with the mouth of the jar. Press down until the sealer compresses the bottle cap. All right, so I take that as stick this on and push down. So maybe I didn't push down hard enough or far enough last time. So let's give that a real push down this time. I don't think I can exert any more force than that. And press the switch button to start the machine until the air in the bottle is evacuated. Then press the switch button again, which will be to turn it off. All right, let's see how we go this time. Again, we've got that time counting away as it's vacuum sealing. Hmm, I'm crossing everything this time. That sounds like it's actually working harder. I don't know if you heard that just then. So hopefully that means it's actually doing it this time. Might let it go to 40. And all right, let's turn that off. That's gone down now to 54%. Oh, crossing everything. Let's see if I got it right this time. All right, let's work that off. Oh, right, I think we have success. Yes, we have success. <laughs> that is awesome. So the lid, you can see here, is kind of indented down. That means there is a bit of a vacuum in there. Yay, that actually worked. I probably shouldn't sound so surprised, but to be honest, I didn't have high hopes for a machine from Timu for $35, to be totally honest. Um, all right, maybe I'll give it a go as well with the wide mouth. So there's one of my wide mouth jars, again, with one of my kind of recycled lids, nicely stained red, because that one had tomatoes, I think, in the past. Now to change this so that it is wide mouth, there is this little kind of um, indicator on the side. It's kind of got a lock and an unlock symbol. So I need to twist that. And that bit there, the regular mouth sealer can just go to the side. And that there's got a bit of a seal. It's a bit bigger this time. And that says wide mouth mason jar. So. Think that's what we need this time around and now that I've got that learning that I do need to push it down a bit harder um, hopefully this test on the wide mouth will go a bit quicker than that first one we just did on the regular mouth so we'll push that down nice and hard to make the seal Alrighty. and again push that button Again, we've got that countdown or count up, I suppose I should say. Each second as that's working. You can definitely hear a difference with the pitch of the unit as it's sucking the air out. All right, that's 20 seconds. I might actually stop that there because it did sound like it was starting to work quite hard. And that's quite similar to your normal vacuum sealers, like, you know, when it's getting to that stage where it's really kind of sucking out that last of the air with the um, bag sort of systems, it also kind of works harder and that pitch gets higher. So it sounds like it might be quite similar with these. Now, let's take that off. And yay, that's worked as well. Beautifully. Awesome. So... I'm really excited actually to see this working so well and I'm looking forward to using this um, when we've got lots of produce over the summer and I'm doing lots of dehydrating because it means that I can now save on some of those vacuum seal bags and instead I can seal things up just like this instead with my glass jars and just recycled lids from canning projects so that is pretty cool and a much better waste wise kind of option as well for vacuum sealing. Um, obviously I'll keep a bit of an eye on this and just see that it does actually maintain the seals. That's probably one thing I'll just watch for. Um, but you know, given it's got that vacuum seal on it, I can't see any reason that it wouldn't hold. All right. Thought I'd test out how good this seal is on hubby and just how much of a vacuum we've got here. 
You want to see if you can pull it off? That was a fair bit of force. That is pretty cool for a cheapy vacuum sealer. Yay. Well, there you go. Timo Electric Mason Jar Vacuum Sealer. Just a cheapy, but it seemed to do the trick. So hopefully you uh, enjoyed opening that up with me today and giving it a bit of a first test. And um, yeah, maybe it's something that you want to consider as well if you've got vacuum sealing projects like we have. So thanks a bunch for joining and catch you later.